So Mr. Ratburn is just such a compelling, generous character. He's a tough but empathetic teacher, he coaches sports, he does puppet shows for little kids at the local library, and he loves cake a little too much. So when I saw that Mr. Ratburn was going to marry the love of his life, I was really excited. And the fact that the love of his life happens to be a male character is a big deal in the history of public broadcasting here in this country. If you missed out on this, I'll fill you in on the details. In a recent episode of Arthur called Mr. Ratburn and the Special Someone, Mr. Ratburn reluctantly announces to his class that he's getting married. Not long after, the students see him having lunch with a pretty tough lady and they're concerned because they think if he marries a tough woman, he's going to become an even tougher teacher. So they try their hardest to break up the wedding. They try to embarrass Mr. Ratburn in front of this woman and they even buy truffles from a very charismatic chocolate shop owner in order to win the librarian over to loving Mr. Ratburn. Obviously, none of these plans work, but they get to the day of the wedding and they figure out that the tough lady was actually Mr. Ratburn's sister, and the person Mr. Ratburn is getting married to is actually the very charismatic chocolate shop owner. They see it as a crisis averted, and the only thing they're embarrassed about is seeing their teacher dancing. And you may ask, well, if this isn't such a big deal, why did PBS Kids wait all the way until 2019 to release an episode like this? Well, interestingly enough, in 2005, an Arthur spin-off called Postcards from Buster, where Buster the white rabbit from Arthur goes around the country meeting real kids and filming them with his video camera, there was an episode called Sugar Time. In the episode, Buster meets some kids from rural Vermont. The only thing unusual about the kids is they happen to have two moms. Here's the only dialogue in the show that references that. Gillian. So Gillian's your mom too? She's my stepmom. Boy, that's a lot of moms. Yep, this is mom and Gillian right here. That's a nice picture. This is one of my favorite pictures. How come? Because it has my mom and Gillian, the people I love a lot, and they mean a lot to me. It's the same not a big deal tack that the writers of Arthur took in this more recent episode, but Margaret Spellings, the education secretary during the Bush administration, condemned the episode, and PBS almost didn't distribute it. Imagine being a 10, 11, 12 year old kid and having the US Secretary of Education tell you your family's lifestyle was inappropriate for children. In the end, PBS partly caved to pressure from people who wanted to defund them, and only gave copies of the episode to PBS stations that wanted them. So the fact that in 2019, PBS Kids feels ready to try this topic again seems like a pretty big deal to me. The fights aren't as big, but they're still there. Alabama Public Broadcasting banned the episode. At any rate, it's a big step for public broadcasting, and I wanted to spend the rest of this video talking about parts of the episode I think are cool. First of all, it seems clear to me that continuity is really important to the writers of Arthur, even though the show's been around for over 20 years, and surely the core audience has changed a bit. The librarian that they try to get Mr. Ratburn hooked up with is Miss Turner, the same librarian from the very early episodes of the show. It seems like her voice actor wasn't around, but rather than cast someone new, they just had her as a non-speaking character. Second thing, both Mr. Ratburn and his future husband Patrick reference important cultural figures from Latin America at the turn of the 20th century. Mr. Ratburn is reading a book of love poems by the Chilean poet Pablo Neruda, and Patrick gives Arthur and his friends free samples of a new truffle he's trying out called the Frida Kahlo. Semi-dark organic Mexican chocolate, hazelnut flavored caramel, and a hint of orange zest. I call it the Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo, of course, being a famous Mexican artist. What I love about that is it's a subtle signal that Mr. Ratburn and Patrick are on the same wavelength. Maybe they've had a conversation about something like this in the recent past. And third, Mr. Ratburn is a rat, but his partner is an aardvark, or at least is drawn in the same style as the aardvark characters in the show. I think this is the first canonical example of an interspecies relationship in the entire history of Arthur, so that feels like a big deal too. Anyway, let me know what you think of all this down there. See you all soon.